Hi there, it's Alfon Woods, and I don't think I've ever been this excited to record a reaction. So I genuinely didn't know what to post this week, cause Taylor Swift already released um, her version of Fearless, and I don't know, I was running out of ideas, and suddenly some Marina fans found this really weird website, we started getting text messages, and suddenly Marina announced on social media that Purse the Poison would be the second single, I was literally starving for new Marina music, like, Men's World came, like, in November, like, five months ago, and I really thought I would not be able to wait <laughs> any longer. But here we are, so welcome to my first Marina video. So we're going to react to the song first, and then we'll watch the music video. As you know, she posted a snippet a lot of months ago, and I've listened to it many times, so like I know that kind of pre-chorus and hook and I wonder how different the production will be. I gotta say, I listened to the first second because somehow she or her team managed to um, post, to like leak the whole music video on YouTube. So I got the notification when it happened and I was like, what is this supposed to be? And I clicked and I realized that it was the whole music video. So I know the song starts with like very in your face drums. So I'm just ready for my wig to be snatched. I already got the lyrics here as always. So let's begin. There's a name for this effect. Yeah, it's called gated reverb. It's when you add a lot of reverb, but you cut it shortly after, like you don't let it play as long as it's supposed to. It was frequently used in the 80s. She didn't lie when a fan commented, we need a rock album, and she replied, um, see you in three weeks. This is the same melody as the... 2007, all right. Hollywood, mystical bitches, making our own sisterhood. Virus gone, fires burn, until human beings learn. She's almost roughly like, I can't keep up with these lyrics. <laughs> Virus come, fires burn, until human beings learn from every disaster, you are not my master. This is so cohesive lyrically with Men's World. Because in that song, she says, um, the planet has a funny way of stopping a fight, and... The fact that she wrote that even before the pandemic thing, her mind. She's... She's not being subtle here, she's pointing every single thing needed to be addressed. I love this, this melody. This is everything I needed. <laughs> this is the section from the snippet, but it's like double speed. Poison from my system. The structure. She repeated, like, what is this? C chorus, apparently? She repeated the chorus, but slower. Into human listen, tell me. 2007, when the zero was the rage. Gun in jail. She kept the fucking vocals. Everything just falls away. And life as we knew it. No feelings to yesterday. She's fucking delivering. <laughs> From my system into human beings. This is genius. I just want a world where I can see the All right. Poetry. the drums ah. 
Give me a minute. Is this real? How was she able to post such a long snippet and still surprises with the full song? Because I was like, all right, we all know what the song is going to be, but I had no clue. It's the fact that she said, let's go rock, and she did it well. <laughs> I was not able to catch a lot of things in the lyrics, so before watching the music video, I am going to listen to it on my own again. See, that's what I didn't read. I love how she's been giving us these very direct messages in her lyrics since Fruit. We got a savages, we got to be human, and now we got men's world and especially Purse the Poison. This is much more aggressive. I think it was in an interview in 2019 when she talked about how she loves using pop music as a platform to give voice to all the issues in the world. Like honestly, who's doing it like her? Who's saying we only make up one quarter of the government in a song? I'm still struggling to keep up with the lyrics. Am I hearing claps? Or is it just me? <sighs> okay, at this point, let's just watch the music video. I've seen a couple of visuals because of course the video leaked and some people posted about it. I know it's like I know it's like very dark. There's some neon lighting going on. She's like floating or swimming. Let's find out. Oh, she didn't use the same font as in the cover. It's very vintage and also the combination of green and pink is quite unique. The interlaced aesthetic. Her sass, like her attitude. She looks amazing in that shot. I knew there were claps. They're playing a lot with like um double exposures. I love her attitude in this video. She's so f***ing confident. Nothing she's ever done is even close to this. I don't know how to express how amazed I am. Like, the editing was brilliant, the aesthetic was cohesive, she acted sassy as hell. I like how the water scenes belong to like the slower parts of the song. I like how glitchy it is, like um, she used for example the interlaced scanning, which is like when you get these weird bars. There wasn't even a storyline, there was no background and she still ate it. So yeah, I got nothing left to say about this song, but Marina, you better release this song soon because it's been a whole year since we listened to the snippet. I cannot believe I'm even more excited for the album now. So anyway, tell me your thoughts in the comments, share your insight on whether Marina should be cancelled for mentioning Britney Spears because apparently a lot of diamonds are worried that the general public will dislike that. You can check these other videos on my channel, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and unless Marina takes another five months to release the vinyl and then the album, um, I'll be seeing you very soon. So yeah, bye for now.